lab, at their facility, none of the monkeys are there. So what happened? Thanks to Manaka Gandhi and Blue Cross or whatever cross, and uh, somebody came along that represented to another uh, you know, cinema actress from Hyderabad, along with one constable, and they opened the door and let all the monkeys out. <laughs> <laughs> And we are, we are product is, you know, already testing is, it takes a long time, you know. So we are uh, out in the woods, then we sued the government. It's the government's job to protect our, our uh, subjects you know, and, and things, did. So finally we won against the government, 100 crores, <laughs> last week. <laughs> and then we took the money, and uh, uh, even when we are not taking it, other people without winning, they are taking it. <laughs> <laughs> <Delhi. laughs> so we didn't take, but we made one ruling saying that you cannot uh, disturb or interfere with the scientific study. We got the ruling up to that point. You know. Whether it's really people are doing or not, I don't know. But the product got delayed by another six months or not. But these are like this, there are so many hurdles, you know. Basically, any time you go outside of the country, we made a vaccine, the people you say that Biotech from India. Same way when I was telling my programmers will do great job. Is it do they, they speak English? All kinds of things. So these are the we we gone through so many people so many times questioning us. Are you real? This is the constant thread. When in the Western world you got prove yourself, but once they got to taste it, they say that can I have ten more of the same guys? You know. Then we say, no, there's no way, you know, one guy at a time for you. <laughs> the ration they blad run, you know. <laughs> These guys don't go anywhere. Friday also they're still right there because there's no girlfriend, nothing, just to <laughs> calls, you know. You got to go boating or what kind of things to go. All our guys they, they sit at the board and watch a movie or whatever. But they're not gonna go anywhere. So these are all the common uh, you know, uh, issues we done. So when you Think back in your life, right? Uh, <clears throat> are there, you know, some incidents, some personal incidents that stand out that transformed or changed your outlook on life? You know, made a significant, you know, impact on how you were thinking, what you were thinking. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll share the, what I shared with you. Is the well growing up, I always wanted to be please my father because both of my elder brothers and sister, they never passed the SLC exam first time. First time I put a course that I want to pass SLC the first time. So my father, uh, every time his colleagues used to ask, how is your son doing? My father couldn't answer that well. You know, I used to see the pain in him. I'm the last in the family. So I, I used to be more close to my father. So during that time, uh, I know Education is important and I got to make my father happy, that's it. So SLC, after combined study and all these things, I learned how to work with. I used to outsource reading to somebody else, a friend of mine. That he used to read and I used to do well. In the <laughs> so that's how this program early on started, you know. <laughs> then we did the SLC very well. Then uh, then uh, got to go one year, I got to go to used to called pre-university course. I don't know whether it is still there or not here. But after that, you go to engineering. That's my goal. So one year, I didn't stop uh, totally exam. You know, when the movies, even though we are in the movie field and all, never went to exam in movies at all. So we used to do combined study and all those things. Then my father, who don't like movies, like most fathers in those days, and uh, he said, uh, I've got to arrange a wedding for your sister. Only two more exams left for you and uh, I'll go to Hyderabad and come back. I said, fine. And he gave me 10 dollars, I mean, 10 rupees. I still have the 10 rupees. I didn't use it to go to the movie at the time. So my father went, then we are ready. You know, two days after that, we are ready for the exam. Tomorrow morning is the exam. 7 o'clock, I'm in a friend's house where I do the come and study. Then somebody came and said that your father came back. Then I said, my father is supposed to come back next week. How did he come back? Maybe things finished again. So I went on the bike home and all, in front of the house, full of people. Then I didn't know what happened. Then I went inside, then I seen my father's dead body, right in the, in the front porch. 
So I got to make a quick decision. One whole year I prepared to finish the pre-university exam. But for that I won't go to the engineering. I got two more exams to do. So I went to bed, touched my father feet in the morning, went to the exam. Came back around 11, 11.30, did all these Indian rituals and all. Then went back, 2 to 5, wrote the second exam. Then I cried. I was 16. So that was very transformative for me because there is nobody to guide me after that. I don't have to report to anybody. All of the brothers, they have just average jobs and all. So I did uh, everything, what I think is right, I do. So fear of failure is not in my vocabulary. Because I don't have to worry about telling my friends, oh my god, I failed and all. Not, 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 to, not to worry about that. That, that is a, one of the incident really changed my way of thinking. And because no support, I got to be always think about how to do the next step. So I doubt the confidence and also I told him that I read somebody else uh, took care of me like a, an adopted father and he wrote, gave me only one book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I still practice that. I don't think I, I hope I am impressing you guys today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, these are things you stay with you and uh, you know, you don't have anybody financial support, you can't ask or force anybody else. So, like you, like you said, <clears throat> from there onwards, all my education is free, government paid, including my IIT, uh, master school, my engineering, everything, you know, made scholarships and all those things, thank God. But for the Indian government, we owe a lot to the Indian government. So one of the reasons for me to come back in the 2000 time period is to educate in the masses, rural education we do. How to educate people? We educate a thousand blind people. How to make them self-sustain? They say that we don't want your money. Keep, make us stand on our own feet. There is an institution called Samarthana in Bangalore. That is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, Subo, I want to leave some time also for the audience to ask questions. Uh, one sort of last thing here, right, is uh, you know, one quote comes to mind. Yeah, I don't know how many of you have heard this. Yahoo's new CEO, right, uh, Marisa Mayer, she once said, burnout is for the wimps. Right? When I look at uh, Subo, uh, you know, he seems to embody that uh, whole spirit. So, when you look at the next, uh, no, the next phase of your journey, Subhu, what are you looking at? What are things are you looking at? Now, I looked at uh, solar technology. I spent a lot of time and uh, wanted to get in, but thank God I didn't get in because uh, the technology is changing so fast. About four years back, I want to invest in our power sector now, and uh, we got a lot of increments, uh, all those things. But we didn't get through at the time. But still, solar is my one of the area. When the technology settles down, I want to do that. But in the meantime, what we are working is two two areas. One is brain fingerprinting, is uh, where we can uh, without a, a program with the CIA, where we can uh, uh, any candidate they can based upon the knowledge what they have, <coughs> we can make you know what he knows but is not saying, and it is admissible in court. So we perfected the system. We're trying to use in uh, several uh, labs in the US and everything else. Hopefully, we can bring it to this country also. And also, there is a, they are using already, but everybody has their own way of uh, doing it. The other thing is we are doing is interesting thing is how to grow the body parts, human body parts. We are all growing old. We need uh, we need that. And uh, we developed a, a solution whereby, you know, all made out of uh, of uh, technology, out of uh, you know, all these Indian things, where it will uh, uh, make the parts of a human body like 